Am I wrong for this? Anytime I tell this story, no one ever agrees with me. But I swear when I think about it, I'm right. So when I first moved to Atlanta, I didn't know anybody. And I joined Bumble and Match with this guy, right? We had been talking, I think, for like two or three weeks. And I got a good vibe. So anyway, I had asked him if he knew any handy people. Because I had a lot of, like, furniture coming into my apartment. And I needed help putting it together. And I needed help putting it together. And I needed help putting it together. Let me get this straight. A woman pays the gun. She agrees to pay him for the work that he done. He wants payment. She calls it tanky and cuts the guy off. <laughs> So we have yet another case of, I don't understand where this dating market is going, but this woman fumbled the bag. She fumbled the ball. She messed up. Let's roll the clip. Am I wrong for this? Anytime I tell this story, no one ever agrees with me, but I swear when I think about it, I'm right. So when I first moved to Atlanta, I didn't know anybody and I joined Bumble and matched with this guy, right? We had been talking, I think for like two or three weeks and I got a good vibe. So anyway, I had asked him if he knew any handy people because I had a lot of like furniture coming into my apartment and I needed help putting it together. Although I did not know him well enough, I trusted him enough to come to my apartment. Now, in hindsight, that was probably a bad idea, but it is what I did. So before he came to my apartment, I had a conversation with him about payment because I didn't want for him to come and I didn't like him and then he felt like he got got. So we talked about payment and I told him I'd give him a certain amount for him putting together like two pieces of furniture. Well, he put together a bed and a desk. So I don't remember exactly how much we agreed on, but I did say I was going to sell him the money. So when he came over, he came over like early this Saturday morning and he ended up like starting right away. He was definitely somebody that I could see myself talking to in the long haul. So it was cool. Like he was putting this, we were getting to know each other. We we're talking about family. We were talking about life, all this kind of stuff. So around lunchtime, I ordered us something to eat. And as we were eating, we were like really talking, right? It was good. So when he was done, he kind of like chilled for like another couple of hours just to like rest and we were really vibing and he was like I would really like to see you again and I was like cool so when he's ready to go we go outside and he gives me a hug and then he was like okay so I'm gonna text you my Zelle information so you can send the payment <laughs> and I'm like okay so in the moment I was just a little shocked but I didn't like let it on I was just like okay just text it to me so the next day I sent the Zelle payment and I was just like, oh, thank you for coming over. I really appreciate it. And then I didn't say anything else. And he was texting me and I did not respond. And he wasn't used to that because obviously we have been like texting all day long, you know, talking throughout the day. It was good at that time. But then I just decided that the fact of him asking me for money after like we had a good day. And I, I do understand that we agreed upon it, but I just thought it would be different since we were going to start dating. I did say I was going to sell him the money. So finally he asked me like what's up and I was just like honestly I know we did decided that I would pay you for that but I really thought it was tacky that you actually asked me for the money afterwards and I did say I was gonna sell him the money and you took it. So I did end up cutting it off and we didn't talk again but when I told my cousin about it she was like you guys agreed on it like I don't understand what 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 the problem was and honestly like if I'm gonna date you and you know you put together some furniture for me you're gonna charge me i don't know like so th this is the whole thing i want to know where did they decide to date because what it seems like to me is is that this is just a guy performing a service for a woman it's like hey can you come over and put together my furniture? Can you come over and put together my bed or my furniture or something that I want to put together? Woman is like, she agreed to pay him. He put the stuff together and now she's cutting him off. So it's kind of like to me that she thought that she could get out of paying a man or get out of paying this dude because she thought that they were gonna go on a date or they were dating like what is the world coming to where a man comes over to your house performs a service asks for payment and 
you think it's tank. But yeah, it was an agreement. She agreed to pay him. He put the stuff together. Now hear me out. Some women can't have a good relationship because they self-sabotage. They think something is too good to be true. Their survival instincts kicking is self sabotage. This could have led to a good relationship, but because this man didn't act a certain way, because this guy came off as a normal guy, she thought he was tanky and got rid of. But if he was a pookie, that wanted to pressure her for sex and take her out and promise her a dream and under promise and not even deliver, would she still think it's tanky? Women like this wouldn't know a good man if he was standing right in front of her because they're so used to the poogie and the ray ray and the struggle. That's the problem with women today. Most women, y'all say y'all want a good hard working man, but then when one gets in front of you, you fumble the ball. You fumble. And I'm convinced. We just need to stop dying. I am fully convinced that we need to shut dating down. Women, y'all need to heal. Men, Y'all need to heal, and then after everybody's healed, then we die. Because this is ridiculous. She had, this woman had one job, and she messed it up. She had one job. She could have had a decent man. Anyway, y'all, that has been it for today's video. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, and I will see you in the next one.